Hello everyone, this is Siddhant and in this video we'll see how to work with NS Operation Q. So in this video we'll see how to create operation in different ways and how to add the operation into Operation Q. And we'll see how to access the main queue and uh, we'll have our own uh, uh, our different queue. So we'll perform the task and uh, we'll see the different ways of creating uh, NS operation and uh, NS operation queue. So let's start uh, with creating the NS operation queue first. So for that, uh, okay, uh, let me clear you one thing that uh, we are performing the action on tap of this button. So the IV outlet is already been set for this so the name is action touch me for this button so let me write uh, code for uh, creating one NS operation queue so let me write NS operation queue We have to instantiate it so we can write new or alloc in it. Now we have to create uh, one operation, so there are different ways available. Let me create one in this operation instance first. And this operation star. Uh, operation 1 uh, equal to in this operation alloc init and operation 1 set completion block and I will write my task for this one so uh, here for this operation I'm going to print uh, so ns log I'll say I am from operation 1 This is one way of creating an operation. Let me create uh, another operation uh, directly through the queue. So what I'll do is operation queue add operation with the block. So directly, directly it will create an operation and it will add. So this way we are creating the operation and we are not adding it and uh, this way like add operation with block directly it will add the operation to the queue so let me uh, write code for this one as well ns log uh, I am from from add operation with block and NS operation has two subclasses one is uh, NS invocation operation and other uh, one is NS uh, block operation so let's see this two uh, subclasses how they create operations so let me create an operation through ns invocation operation so for that ns uh, invocation so i have to go out uh, okay i have to close it now i'm creating an operation through ms invocation operation so ns invocation operation is a subclass for ns operation 
So ms invocation operation star i operation operation ms invocation operation alloc uh, in it with target so let me put self and uh, here it is asking for a selector so we need a method for it so let it be uh, let it be start start one start one and uh, object is me for now So I have to define start form. Uh, so let it be void void star start one. I'm so sorry. Start one. Is log. Fun started. And uh, let me create another MS invocation operation with uh, this should be operation one and fun or it's end fun so let me create another method it is end fun oh i'm so sorry guy and a slug fun ends here Anyway, fun never ends, but that's for demonstration. Yeah, so we created one in this operation queue and uh, we added in this operation directly with block. Now we have added uh, one block uh, to the NS operation queue directly, and uh, NS operation invocation uh, subclasses we have used to add the uh, operation to uh, we have not added any operation yet but we can add the operation later and uh, uh, for the for now we are creating NS operations so we have another way to create the uh, operation that is NS block operation let me create a block operation block operation equal to ns block operation uh, block operation with block so let me write uh, ns log i am from block block operation now we have uh, created uh, many operations at the moment so let's add this operation to the queue so we have the queue called operation queue so let me add the operations here operation queue add operation so we have created the operation now I'm adding the operation to this queue so we can add one by one or else we can 
uh, we can put all the operation into array and we can write add operations and we can pass the array of all the operations so let it uh, be add operation many times for the demonstration add operation and I'm adding here operation 1 operation 1 then operation Q add operation we have uh, actually operation Q add operation with block this has already been added to the Q so we do not need to add it again and here NS invocation operation I operation and I operation 1 these two operations are not yet added so let's add these two operations I operation and operation Q add operation I operation 1 so now we have added three operations here with add operation method and uh, one is already been added uh, this one add operation with block now we have another operation that is uh, block operation so let's add this operation as well so it's operation Q add operation to block operation so now we have successfully added uh, five operation to the queue let's run it and let's see how it works so just for easy understanding let me explain it very clearly that we have created one queue and in that queue we are adding the operations so as for the free resources it will keep on executing so here we have added here we have added the block to the operation directly uh, so uh, this will uh, start executing first because everything is free at the moment so obviously this would execute then we have created different operations with the different ways different uh, 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 types so later on we have added all these uh, operations so we can have a concurrent uh, operation we can have serial operations as for our requirement we can we can add operation to the main queue or else uh, we can have our own queue and uh, operations so let's run for us and uh, maybe in the next video we'll see how to uh, prioritize the uh, queue and how to prioritize the operations adding the dependencies as this video is going a little lengthier so I'll prefer to make another video for that so let's run this uh, code and let's see their logger statement so I have written code on top of touch me so let me tap in this and you can see here the logs first it is telling phone ends here so phone ends here is end phone and end phone is this one so actually this is concurrent operation so anything can start it we have not kept any dependency for any operations so in phone executor first then I am from add operation with the block I'm from add our expectation was this should be executed first but it didn't happen so phone ends here it executor first because these are concurrent queues so anything is free it will start executing so then font started then I am from block operation then I am from operation 1 I am from operation 1 right so these are concurrent uh, uh, operations so uh, this is as for the process as for the resources free I mean availability of the resource so in the next video we'll see how to prioritize the uh, queue how to prioritize the operations so how to set the dependencies and how to uh, execute it serially and how to uh, update the UIs in on main thread 
uh, and how to do all the calculations or any other task any lengthy process in different threads and uh, get the value uh, into UI on main thread so I hope you enjoyed this video and you understood how to create NS operation and how to add all those operations into their queue so if you understood well that's well and good if you have any queries or question you if you want to discuss anything you can comment on this video and I would love if you can subscribe this channel as this channel is very new so I it's a humble request you can subscribe this channel and uh, if you like this video please do like it thank you so much you have a great day and